because money is something that we all basically need and the need for it keeps coming back, it's easy for money to become this overriding concern that kind of takes over our whole world, our whole life. And, you know, it, some of it can be looked at as, you know, greed, like we want more, we want more. But it's also the fear of not having enough. Being preoccupied with money is not necessarily about being greedy, materialistic, uh, you know, wanting things you don't really need. It can also be about wanting things that you do need. And especially the less money that you have, the more that you have to care about money. And the more money you have, the less you have to care about it. In fact, that may be really the most valuable thing about having more money is not being able to buy more things, have more experiences, but to be able to worry less about money, to have money become a more peripheral thing in life rather than the central preoccupation. If I had exactly zero dollars, I would be very concerned about money because I would have to be, you know, where am I gonna get my dinner? I gotta scrape a few dollars together to get some food, maybe ho hopefully a shelter somehow. If I kept, if every day I just ended up with zero dollars again, I'd be having that concern every day. And I could easily have my entire life just be thinking about how to scrape money together. And, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm picturing somebody who, you know, is very poor, but I could imagine it all, it, rich and poor is all about that balance of income and expenses. So if you're spending money and just pouring it out there, then, you know, you may really be you have you may have just as much of that net zero money that feeling of always running out because whatever you're taking in you're spending again now if you're if you have a lot of money coming in and a lot of money going out you do have a lot more flexibility to okay well maybe I'll still be able to scrape enough money together for food and and shelter so your immediate survival may not be at risk the way somebody with absolutely no money would be. But there's still, no matter how much money you're taking in, if it's being spent at the same rate, then there's always that feeling of coming down to zero, not having enough, and always focusing on how do I get this back? How do I get more? More money, more money. The endless daily repetition. So this is why I find it helpful to calculate all my money, all my income expenses, calculate everything I'm gonna need and get a picture in my mind how much money do I need? And getting that so that that becomes a contained part of my life. It's not like, it's not something I have to think about all the time. It becomes a part. Okay, yes, I have to take care of finances. I have to get enough money to meet my material needs. But I don't have to then be always thinking about it because I don't even want to be thinking about it only as much as I need to and you know it's this is not all about mindset there's also there's so many factors involved of course in making money factors of the environment where we're living our background our situation what the conditions are in 
the world of business, all these different factors, it's never something that can just be easily dismissed. But my idea here is that rather than focusing first on making more money, to think about really getting a clear picture of how much money do I need and really understanding that requirement and filling that requirement. In some cases, it may be easier than it seems. It may not be as much of an endless hamster wheel of generating income, trying to keep up with expenses. We may not need to be spending as much as we are. We may not need to be making as much as we are making. And so wherever that number lands, and those, those different numbers, income levels, expense levels, projecting them over the future, the rest of our lives, what we want, wherever that lands, I believe it's possible for money to become only one contained area of life so that we don't have to build our whole lives around it. But I'd love to hear your comments. What do you think about this idea? Is it possible to contain money like this? Or is this just a luxury that comes from having enough money, uh, but in most cases, it's not possible. What do you think?